Hi, Hiram here. I got a question from Tim Anderson. He asked if heat fuel would work in the Flat Cat Gear ISO Clean 2.0 stove. This is an isopropyl alcohol stove that uses, of course, isopropyl alcohol, 70 or the 90 percent. What uh, Tim is asking is if heat, which is a methyl alcohol product, would that work in here? A, kind of an interesting question. Now, Flat Cat Gear does have a stove that's meant for denatured alcohol or methanol, stuff like that. It looks very similar to the IsoClean stove, except the IsoClean stove has all of these, hope you can see it, holes in the side, whereas this doesn't. But then the Lynx, this is the Lynx stove. The Lynx has a carbon felt liner on the inside here. Ooh, a little sliver of metal. Has a uh, carbon felt liner on the inside of this, which the isopropyl one doesn't. Reason for that is isopropyl alcohol is a lot of water. So when you burn off the alcohol, you get water left behind in the stove. Um, if you put isopropyl in this, it might work, but your carbon felt is going to get soaked with water and then you're going to have a heck of a time getting that to dry. There is a carbon felt pad that goes in the isoclean stove, but from what John over at Flat Cat Gear says, that's mostly for when you're trying to light the isopropyl alcohol when it's really cold. Uh, the couple of tests that I did, that pad was soaking with water, and I had to leave it out for a couple of days to dry out. But today what I'm going to do is try heat in this instead of my methanol that I use. But let me go get my water prepped, and I'll be right back for a test. Okay, I've got my water prepped. I've got 20 milliliters of uh, the heat. That's about three quarters of a fluid ounce. I'm using that amount because that's what I did in the other tests. So let's put the 20 milliliters into the stove. And this is a stove, not just a burner, but a stove because it has a pot stand on it. Now, the uh, heat looks like it's about an eighth of an inch from the bottom set of holes. So a little bit more could still go in there, but not much. Let's light this. Unlike the uh, isopropyl alcohol, that'll light right up. So I've got two cups of water sitting at 61 degrees. And let's see where this goes. We're now two minutes into the test. The temperature is up to 101 degrees. As you can see, it's a nice, pretty blue flame no yellow in it at all but uh, let's see where it goes from here there we have 210 211 212 and 8 minutes 26 seconds And it was two cups of water starting at 61 degrees, came to a boil in 8 minutes 26 seconds. That was with 21 milliliters of uh, heat. Let's see how long it takes for a run out here. Okay, the flames are going, going, gone at 11.48. 11.48. Very interesting. Oops. Okay. So that was two cups of water starting at 61 degrees. Came to a boil in 8 minutes 26 seconds. And then ran out at 11 minutes 48 seconds. That was really kind of surprising. I thought it would heat up the water much faster. Uh, when I did it with the isopropyl 91%, it took 8 minutes and 24 seconds, but that was one minute of it just letting it burn so it got up to speed. So that meant that it got two cups of water starting at 60 degrees to a boil in 7 minutes and 24 seconds. And then if 
I remember right, it ran out right about there. So in this case, with heat, um, it boiled in 8 minutes 26 and then ran out at 11.48. Hmm, interesting. So I hope that helps, Tim. It looks like it can indeed work in here. There's nothing left in the burner, no extra water like there is with the isopropyl alcohol. So I guess you can use heat. I could probably use the uh, methanol that I use, or you could use denatured alcohol. It's just going to make for a couple of different times. Also, before I, I meant to mention, room temperature is 50 degrees, humidity is 52, cloudy and breezy out. Okay, so again, I hope that answers Tim's question. I thank him for his questions. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.